Hi guys, this is Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around this new model Neo NASX. Neo's actually had an NASX for a while, but only on a triple axle 10,000 pound rated GVW. This one's on the, the more normal tandem axle style 7,000 pound GVW. We do call this an all sport. Some will call it a sled trailer. Uh, nowadays we get more and more guys uh, in UTVs in these. So this is in the most common length. It's a 23 foot. Uh, this has the larger door, which Neo is now calling that a five foot nose. Previously, Neo would have called these a 22 foot with a four foot nose. So one thing to know before we walk around this trailer, on a sled trailer or an all sport, we're gonna count the V-nose because of how long it is. Again, that one there, it's a five foot nose. And with that five foot nose, you'll notice a bigger door. One of the easy ways to tell it's bigger, this style's got three hinges, traditional, uh, sled trailer door is going to have two hinges. So let's take a walk around show you all the standard features on this model. So we're going to start out up front. It's got a 2 and 5 16 inch coupler. It's a zinc coated coupler. It's got also got a standard A-frame jack. It's got your safety chains with your hooks. It's got your breakaway battery. Now one nice part, Neo puts the breakaway battery in the nose. So all your wiring uh, runs up the nose and then the breakaway actually stored inside out of the elements. The whip on this is also a seven pin. You'll notice it's a dual prong connection. And then this is a thicker uh, seven pin in most. It's actually a cold weather rated whip. So one thing about Neo, they do a lot more than just assembly. They actually truly are a manufacturer in that a lot of the components you see here are made in house at Neo. That allows them to control a lot of things. One of them being the look of their trailer. So you'll notice this Neo just looks a lot different than most in the industry. Uh, from the nose up front, to the shape of the door, to the uh, round top Venos that you generally would not see, and then even to the Bradley Slash that we've added to this particular unit. Uh, a lot of neat features that they're able to do that most others can't because they manufacture most of the components in the house in house that said one of the downsides to neo they're not always able to do all the custom uh, requests that some folks ask for because there are limitations to how custom their standard trailer is so again another one of those features would be the stone guard uh, neat look again we said there are three hinges on the ramp door instead of two you also notice that they're a neoprene hinge. They don't need uh, serviced like your traditional hinge. Also got an aluminum grab handle instead of your plastic. Uh, and then the NXP ramp door. If you're not familiar, you can simply use the palm of your hand or you can use your thumb. It is stainless steel. And then also there's a uh, place for a lock there uh, on the handle. Very simple setup, very clean look. Even you'll notice the bumpers instead of your traditional hockey puck looking bumpers, a little bit neater. Ramp door on this also has an outside hinge, so instead of the traditional uh, hinge, it's an outside, uh, what they call a pro flap. You also notice that the wood on this is all marine. There is no uh, engineered wood. This is all a pressure treated marine product. One thing Neo does that I like the look of, instead of doing a tapered slant nose like they do on most of their units, they keep a straight nose. If you've ever seen the, the slanted nose with the straight door, just never looks right to me. So I like the look of how they uh, configure the nose on these. One thing we've also added is not a standard is the loading light. One thing Neo does on their frames here, everything uh, door jam wise is all made out of tube. None of that's formed. It allows them to get a little bit tighter uh, tolerances on the door. Also want to show you a close up. Neo does a mix of TIG and MIG welds. Uh, very clean looking welds on their trailers. A lot of other little things you'll notice how they picture frame the trim. So they got a lot of custom uh, trim extrusion so everything looks uh, nice and clean and finished because this is an integrated frame as well there's no real trim on this trailer so you've got a piece of uh, J at the bottom uh, but not your traditional one or three inch trim you see I'll show you the integrated frame a lot, a lot stronger we'll show you up front 
everything integrates together nice and tight. A lot of cuts up front. They do all automated uh, cuts. Very, uh, very clean in how they they do it. So this unit is equipped with a seven and a half foot wide. When you go to a seven and a half foot wide, you're gonna go to a torsion suspension. You're gonna get about half a fender outside, uh, and then the other half would be in the wall and then inside the actual trailer. We've gone to a set of aluminum wheels that kind of complement the uh, the black and silver exterior, the two-tone. Now, two-tone is standard equipment, but this particular slash style that we like and put on this one uh, is an option. Also added to fuel doors. So you can get fuel inside the trailer or different, uh, different items. The rear of the trailer's got a ramp similar to the front. It's going to be an NXP... Uh, ramp latch. Also on this one we've added the uh, loading light over the rear door. Notice it's a clear lens LED light. So you've got stop turn tails to the side and then the tri marker up top also a thin strip LED. Stabilizer jacks on this are not standard but we have option them on this unit. You'll notice these as well are also made by Neo. Very neat set up instead of the traditional instead of the traditional swivel jacks uh, that have a, a pivot point that's a weak spot uh, right about there uh, these are made from a two by two tube very strong jack also very clean they blend into the style and design of the trailer so again same pro flap at the rear it's got outside hinging so if you're taking sleds across it uh, won't uh, won't mess with your carbides so inside one thing we've added is the uh, the floor tie down system or the sport tie down system as they call it uh, basically what you'll find there's strips of aluminum airline track on each of the cross members there uh, three lags in each one uh, I believe generally your airline track fittings are rated for a few hundred pounds. Ideal typically for bikes, four-wheelers, uh, golf carts, potentially a UTV, etc. Gives you a lot of convenient tie-down points in the trailer. Uh, also, the airline track stays pretty well flush with the floor so it doesn't protrude into the, uh, into the usable space. So you'll notice that the, uh, the fender on a 7.5 wide pretty much lines up with about the corner posts of your door you've got about a two inch or so reveal on either one gives you pretty much anything you can fit inside the door you've got the same room inside so on this one we've done an aluminum sport wall you can either get an open face wall vinyl or aluminum aluminum's your nicest of the three does reflect a lot of light gives you a very nice clean look this trailer is six six inside so you're gonna have about two foot of uh, of three-quarter ply kick plate and then you're going to have about four foot of your aluminum sport wall. <clears throat> Inside you've got a uh, one piece aluminum roof with a tubular aluminum bow. They've also put a foam gasket tape uh, on top of your bows to cut down any noise. Also optional that we put on this particular unit is a four foot overhead cabinet. It's also got garment uh, holders built in to the sport. Nice smart design idea. Very simple operation. So close up of the, uh, the nose. Spring assisted doors. I believe your opening on this new style door is going to be about six foot. This allows you to uh, get some bigger equipment in and out. One neat uh, feature of a Neo as well, they build a lot of little ideas into this. Basically, you've got a guard here that you would put over your door if you were loading skis or whatnot, keep you from tearing your door up. Now, this is an RV style foam filled door with the finished walls. They also finish the door on the inside of the match, gives it a nice clean look. Uh, two switches here you've got one for your dome lights and then one for your outside load light. You've got two LED lights standard. Now on this, we've also upgraded to a 16 on center floor. It's probably completely unnecessary on this trailer. 
but uh, Neo's pretty reasonable in that particular option. Just gives you more options as to what exactly you can put inside uh, from a weight perspective or from a higher duty cycle user. So this is a seven and a half foot wide. That would be outside body to outside body. So your inside wall to wall is gonna be about seven two. Again, outside wall to wall is gonna be about seven foot uh, six inches. So again, there's a shot of your uh, RV style door. Now you also notice we put a loading light uh, over that particular door as well. And then this has all aluminum door hardware. So again, this is a new Neo NASX. So again, before we had the NAS, which was a standard uh, flat top, round top. This is the, uh, the newer style upgraded model. And I won't say he's replacing it, but for all intents and purposes, uh, we expect this to be a pretty big hit that probably will end up uh, replacing those models. If you have any questions on this, uh, my name's Greg at Best Choice Trailers. I'll be happy to help you out. This is available in different lengths, uh, different color schemes, etc. Feel free to call us so we can go over the different options available. You can reach us at 717-220-4220, or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.